In classical physics, if an object hits an impenetrable barrier, it will always bounce off of it. But in quantum mechanics, if the impenetrable barrier is thin enough, then the object has a non-zero probability of ending up on the other side. So what that means is, on a quantum scale, sometimes electrons can just go through stuff. You can actually see a great analog of this using a glass of water. Notice that as I hold the glass sideways, you can see my fingers easily on the other side of the glass. But when I turn the glass upright, suddenly the sides of the glass become like a mirror. You can't see anything outside of it. So in this case, the boundary is actually the air around the outside of the cup. Now watch what happens if I press really hard and try to reduce that air layer in between my finger and the glass to as small as possible. It turns out that you actually can start seeing my finger. So the photons from my finger can actually quantumly tunnel through that boundary layer of air and get to the camera. He became instantly famous. How did he figure this out? He did this by manipulating Einstein's equations of general relativity. This was a purely geometric manipulation. What you have to understand is that general relativity at its core is about the geometry of space-time. Einstein showed that gravity is a geometric warping of space-time. By manipulating this geometry to look the way a warp field would look for a spaceship, Alcubierre made the equations find an answer to the idea of a warp drive, regardless of whether it was feasible or whether other laws of physics would allow it. It was more of a thought experiment. But his equations are mathematically consistent solutions to Einstein's equations. And this is how Alcubierre's warp drive would work. Take a spaceship and put a bubble of space around it. If you can compress space in front of the bubble and expand space behind the bubble, then you can make the bubble of space along with the spaceship move. This would be like riding a wave on a surfboard. You're not moving on the surfboard, but the surfboard is moving because it is being pushed by the wave. This is where the loophole is in Einstein's speed limit, that nothing can move faster than the speed of light. This speed limit only applies to objects traveling within space, not the movement of space itself. Space can move at any speed. So that bubble of space in Alcubierre's geometric solution can move